What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome to the channel where I show you interesting stories behind locations in Fallout 4. In this video we will be discovering the legend of the old gullet sinkhole and we will also get a unique item and a skill magazine too. Now I suggest before heading into the sinkhole that you come here on the map to Bunker Hill. The location has a mini quest behind it that is actually the main backstory of the whole location. If you miss it then you won't understand it. Once here just come to the bar area, it's in the corner of the settlement, then speak to Joe the barman. Got a problem? Excuse me. Bar's open, just don't get so drunk you shoot up the place. You have any work? Well, there is one thing. Dad, you're not going to send him on that same wild goose chase. Hey, he brought it up, not me. As I was saying, before us Savaldi started slinging rot gut for thirsty caravan hands, we came from a line of Minutemen. My grandpa, Brent Savaldi, was the last. He died fighting raiders just outside Malden. If you could find any of his personal effects, well, he didn't mean the world to me. Any idea of where he might have fallen somewhere northeast of malden that's where they found the bodies of the rest of his squad the raiders tore them apart mutilated the bodies once the minutemen held their own against the institute but in the end even raiders were too much for him if the price is right i might help malden ain't the safest of places i suppose i could spare 200 caps i'll find your grandpa just be careful all right I don't want any more deaths on my conscience. He will give you a quest to find his grandpa You're who has gone missing. Caravans. Apparently he was a member of the Minutemen and the whole squad was killed by raiders. It directs you over to the sinkhole which is here on the map. Now let's find out what became of his grandpa. You can probably already tell that it wasn't good news. In fact, you may have overheard bandits in the area talking about recent seismic activity. This also tells us that this natural disaster must have happened after the bombs fell. And if you look on this map of seismic activity, you can actually see Massachusetts. It's in the grid reference 7342. It's quite close to the fault line in America. And so earthquakes are not uncommon. So this dire situation we see is not unbelievable. So once again, props to the attention to realism by the developers. Before we head into the sinkhole though, there are a few hidden chests that I want to show you. So here we are, and there's Dogmeat who seems to have walked here from the opposite direction of the way we, oh fucking hell. Oh, okay, um, we better kill this. What is it attacking? I have no idea. I wonder if that was like a legendary. No, I don't think it was. Killed it way too fast. I'll explore the location in a moment. Let me just quickly... Why is it green? That looks really... Oh, it's a glowing Charmeleon. Oh, I see. I see. I thought it was a normal death floor that was green. I was very confused then. I still don't understand what it was attacking though. It looks it looks really funny from over here, but let's have a look at this location then. So we have our first house here. Because I'm going to show you all the loot outside before we go into... Did it, where did that bin come from? Did that bin just fall on my head? Oh, fucking hell, dog me. Anyway... We have a chain door ch chain on the other that side. we can't get into. And this house seems pretty heavily fortified. And there is no way inside it. So let's have a look at these other ruined houses. There's some alcohol. Take that so I can get drunk later. There, are, there is some good loot in some of these houses. So it's worth having a quick look around. I don't think there's anything upstairs here. We can have a look though if we come over here. Um, no, just a toy car. So unless you need a toy car, not worth going up there. I really like how all the houses have like fallen into this sinkhole though. I think that's really cool how they've done that. It's like they've actually, it actually looks like they've slid into it. So let's go upstairs here. Oh look, there's a toy rocket there. Bit of a dangerous place to have a children's tricycle. Oh no! Ah! 
Fucking hell, that would be a nasty fall. Oh my god. Well, at least you'd have a... Well, it wouldn't be a safe landing because you hit the rocks on the way down. So I'm going to take the gear and baseball and there's $50 in there. That's pretty good. It's always good to grab the baseballs because you can actually craft them into really powerful grenades. So definitely grab them when you see them. Oh, wow. <laughs> this person's been blown backwards off their chair. They must have been watching something interesting on TV. And we got a vodka bottle. More vodka. Um, this person looks like they're playing. I mean, praying, not playing. Maybe she was drunk. Whatever they were watching on TV, it must have been very interesting. That's quite a nice painting. I've not seen that one before. Oh, look, some pre-war money behind the couch there. Um, let's see what we have upstairs. Another dead body. This person died doing the ironing. How depressing. How very depressing. And she's female. Oh my goodness. How rude. Okay, I think there's another house over there. Oh, look. If you look closely, I think that's a death claw down there. Oh, I can't actually... It looks like one, though. In that little hole there where my cursor is. There are some flying creatures over there, though, so I'm not looking forward to seeing those guys. Right. What do we have in here, dog meat? If you'd get out of my way, I can actually search the place. Doesn't seem to be anything in this house. Okay. So... Oh, for God's sake, I can hear those fucking flying things. I hate these things so much. Die. This gun is very overpowered, by the way. If you're wondering why it does so much damage. Also, if you're wondering why I have 999 ammo, that's actually a bug that I've encountered that I can't seem to fix. I just hate these things. I hate the noises they make, I hate everything about them. <laughs> this guy is just so tanky as well. Come back here. There we go. Hate them so much. Please leave me alone. I'm sure I could hear another one just then. So if we go down here, I think there's a death floor down here, so do take care. A good way to kill it though is to jump from there onto the roof of this house and then just shoot at it. Actually, this is a passive death claw. I think this is actually to do with another quest, so we're just going to leave him there. But there are lots of seats here. I don't know how the seats ended up outside of the car when it fell down the mountain, but we've got a steamer trunk to loot. Cryo mine. Oh, there's some pretty good stuff in here. Can you please stop making noises? You're creeping me out. The dog is very curious. <laughs> and then we've got this guy who, like, sacrificed himself to get this pork and beans here. Maybe he got killed by the death claw. Okay, so now we can go in the sinkhole. I think I'm done exploring the location. It's pretty cool looking back up though. At just the devastation the sinkhole caused. So let's go inside. Whee! It's like a water slide. So here we are. And now we're in a cave. And that is the hole that we fell out of. It's quite a long way to fall, to be honest. Apparently it didn't hurt one bit. So I'm just going to get my weapons out, because I know there are some rad roaches in here. But I'm going to kill. That one just tried to hug me. Okay, they're all dead. There's a small chance that one of them might be legendary, but um, I'm guessing they're not, because I killed them so quickly. Um, okay, so... Ah, this must be Grandpa's... Okay, so we can take his hat. 
And actually, this is how we complete the quest, obviously, if you return the hat to the um, barkeeper. So this, here's the hat. I'll just put it on to show you what it looks like. It gives you plus one charisma. And if you are a member of the Minutemen, when you return the hat, he will give it to you and just let you keep it. And he'll also give you 200 caps if you um, if you have a high enough speech skill and barter with him. Or he'll give you 150 if you didn't. Now let's have a look around here and see how this guy died. It looks like he was killed when he was drinking. Maybe he was snuck up on. But we know that the rest of his squad were killed by raiders. And if we look down here, there are actually dead raiders here. But that makes me think, how did the raiders die? There's another one here, he's got a shotgun shell. They were pretty well equipped. And then, how the fuck is there a cow down here? That hole looks pretty small to get a cow down, like, come on. It must have fallen down the sinkhole somehow, but... There's another raider. Okay, what else do we have? There's, there is a dead skeleton here, which is interesting. Okay, so... There's a lantern. Okay, what this makes me think is that... We'll come back here and I'll explain to you why I think this. This is the last remaining squad member of the Minutemen. Of this, like, squad. However, he's got a whole campsite down here. And he's, like, dug this area out with a shovel somehow to, like, make seating. So this makes me think that... Perhaps this was the Minutemen's base and he was coming back here running away from the raiders and the raiders chased him down the sinkhole maybe maybe I can't think how else the raiders would get in here so let, let's continue on and keep on exploring and see if we can figure that out there is a Nuka Cola cherry there which I'm going to grab but I mean there's yeah that seems like a lot of work for one person Maybe they dug... Maybe the Minutemen dug this whole cave out. I wonder... Oh yeah, it goes back to a house. Jesus Christ, it's super fucking glowing. And let's try and headshot him to finish him off. Boom! Oh, I headshot him, but... Is he dead? Another crit. Boom! Headshot. It looks awesome when you headshot a glowing one, because all the goo comes out of his head. Jesus, he had a plasma cartridge. Shotgun shells. Ooh, he has shotgun shells, and the guy down there had a shotgun. So that explains how the raiders got killed. But, hmm, I reckon some of the raiders died from the fools. Some of them died from the glowing ones and the feral ghouls. But how did the feral ghouls get down here? Maybe they dropped through the sinkhole after the raiders? Because they're the only people left alive. It's quite confusing, but that's what I think. And obviously all this workshop stuff, again supports the fact that the Minutemen were already set up here before, before um, they were killed. So this is definitely some kind of base, and I'm guessing we're going to come out in the house that had the locked door. We'll have a look. Because, I mean, to be honest, that house was pretty heavily fortified. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, okay, here we are. So we can open this gate now, and it's unchained. And now that's another interesting fact. The gate was locked from the inside, which makes me think that the only way the raiders could have got in after that guy was through the sinkhole. I can hear gunfire outside. Anyway, we've got a stim pack here, and there's a kettle. So they must have been set up here for a while. Yeah, there's an ammo box. So this was clearly like some kind of base of operations for the Minutemen before the squad died. I'll have a look what that gunfire is in a moment, but there is a footlocker here. Empty blood sack. Don't need any of that stuff. Um, typewriter. Another bedroom with nothing of value in. We do have a safe, and there is a chem cooler. Oh, look, there's a note in here. So if I... Can I... Okay, I'm going to take it, and then I'll go to my notes, and we can read it. Okay, here we go. 
Kathy, move your bed downstairs. Your sleepwalking is going to be the death of you. Monty. So, this is her bed. Oh, I see. So, if she was sleepwalking, she would have fallen one floor while asleep and probably killed herself. Fair enough, Monty. And there's a safe here we can also pick. I hope you all enjoyed this video and if you did please help me out by liking it and sharing it with your friends that may be interested. And also why not let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I always enjoy reading through them. There is a whole playlist of videos like this one and I'll leave a link to that in the description for you guys to check out if you're interested. And of course you can also subscribe if you want for more Fallout 4 guides. Thanks again for watching and I ESO will see you, little subscriber, in the next Fallout 4 video guide. Goodbye!